Hi there, welcome to this tutorial on Bower. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to install Bower. In this tutorial, let's look at uh, what Bower is, what package manager really means, and we would look at uh, doing a package management for a typical front end uh, project from Bower. Um, let's get started. What is Bower? Bower is basically a, a package manager for the web. I mean, by the web, it means front end. Um, what is a package manager? I mean, uh, there are a lot of frameworks that we make use of on the front end. For example, jQuery, uh, Backbone, Angular, uh, like a lot of frameworks that we make use of on the front end side. And how do we really manage which version of which project we need to make use of? So let's say I want to use jQuery version 3. I want to use uh, backbone version 5. Where do we really manage that? And how do we make sure that the entire team gets the right versions of all the uh, dependencies? I mean, the depend like all the things that a project depends on are called dependencies. So let's say I'm creating a front end project which uses a particular version of jQuery and a particular version of Angular. Then jQuery and Angular are my dependencies. And Bower allows us to say, I want this version of jQuery and this version of Angular and this version of uh, any other uh, front-end uh, JavaScript file. So basically that's what a package manager does. It helps us to specify dependencies and it helps us to get these dependencies and put them wherever we want it. So that's basically uh, what it says as if to. Websites are made up of a lot of things, frameworks, libraries, assets, utilities, and rainbows. Bower manages all these things for you. It uh, like Bower, like it can even get uh, uh, go to the GitHub and get the packages for you. Okay, let's. Uh, that's enough talk. Let's get our hands dirty. Let's. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we looked at installing Bower. Installing Bower is very simple. All that you need to do is go to your command prompt. So that's basically your command prompt in Windows or a terminal in your terminal in a Mac. In your terminal, uh, check if you have the right version of npm installed. Uh, I mean, at least npm installed. Here I have MP npm uh, 1.4.28. That's fine. Uh, and you need to install using the command npm install bower. Uh, I would want to install it globally so I use hyphen g and if you have problems with permissions you can do sudo. So this is how you uh, install bower. Once you have it installed locally uh, I would now go to my IDE which is WebStorm and WebStorm is the IDE I use. Uh, it's very easy to uh, do front-end projects in WebStorm. A lot of features which are very good in here. Uh, let's not get into there. Uh, also one of the features I really like about WebStorm is the integrated terminal in here. So I have a terminal here which is actually in this particular uh, uh, right integrated directly into the IDE. So I'll use that uh, terminal to execute all my commands. So I want to first create a uh, project uh, or a directory. I would want to call it Bower test or Bower first tutorial. And I would want to switch to that. So, And uh, it should come up here. Yeah. There you go. So now I go to that directory. So I'm going to that directory and I have to do, let's check if I have Bower working because I installed it globally. It should be working uh, because I use hyphen G in, while installing with NPM. So it should be working globally. So we do have uh, 1.3.2L available. So now uh, we can now use uh, Bower to do all our dependency management. Let's say I want to use uh, jQuery. So I want to uh, use jQuery in my current project. So how do I do that? So I do Bower install jQuery. And let's see what happens. So now what 
Bower does is it goes to repository, uh, finds since I didn't specify a version of J jQuery, it tries to find the latest version of the jQuery and gets it. And if you see the, uh, like in the Bower first tutorial, you can see now a folder created called Bower Components. So all the files that Bower retrieves are placed into a folder called Bower Components. And here I ask for jQuery. So this is the file which is retrieved. So jQuery is got in and this is the file which we want to use. So if I want to find out what are the different things that uh, Bower has retrieved for me, I can do Bower list. So it's a command Bower space list and it shows me all the things which Bower has retrieved uh, for me. And you can see that it shows uh, Bower has retrieved jQuery 2.1.3. Uh, if I want to, inst I can inst uh, like if I want to install a specific version of jQuery. Let's say I, uh, I think 2.1.3 is uh, like does not support all versions of browsers. So probably I, I want to support a older version of a browser. So I want to install some 1.x version of uh, jQuery. So I can specify that too by using hash. So jQuery and which version I want to. Let's say I want to get 1.9.15 version of that. So now Bower is trying to get that. So you can see that now Bower is telling me that uh, 1.9.15 is an invalid version and it lists me all the uh, versions which are valid. So I would go for uh, 1.11.2 which is which I can see here is uh, the la like highest available version of in 1.x. So I can go for 1.11.2. So now Bobber gets that and it replaces the, oops, find a suitable version. I'll just choose one. And now if you, if I do Bower list, it would show me the jQuery 1.11. 11.2 which is the version which I am using right now. I can install even multiple dependencies on the same line using Bobo. Let's say I want to install uh, Angular and Backbone. <laughs> Who does that? Angular and Backbone in the same project but ignore that but I just uh, install both Angular and ba uh, uh, Backbone. So I'm doing a bower, sorry, I'm trying not do list, but I should actually do install. So I can do bower install, angular and backbone. So angular space backbone. So I want to install two things. So you'd uh, see uh, it's separated by space. So bower space install space angular space backbone. And you can see that everything is downloaded now and you can see what's downloaded over here. So I have backbone uh, 1.1.2 and angular 1.3.1 which are downloaded. Uh, you can also see that Backbone is dependent on another framework. So Backbone has a dependency on underscore so you'd see that when I go to the Bower components even underscore is downloaded. I have not really asked for Backbone sorry I have not asked for underscore but actually Backbone needs underscore. So Backbone framework needs underscore and hence it was downloaded automatically for me. So that's the magic of dependency management. So if I'm dependent on something which needs something else, it would automatically be downloaded uh, by Bower. So uh, that's a very good thing about Bower. Uh, now let's, uh, we have executed a lot of commands actually to install different things. Now, if I want to actually share uh, this, like I want to share this setup with somebody. Let's say I have, I'm working on a project where uh, there are five team members working and I'm one of the developers and I'm installing now four different Bower components. I don't really want everybody to keep running the same commands again and again. So that's where I can save all the dependencies of a project to a single file and Bower provides an easy way of doing it so that I can share that file on, on the version control and everybody can use that version control and download the things directly. So how do we do that? So that's basically where we can do something called a Bower init. So I'm doing a initialization of a Bower project. I'm, 
it's too complex a word for a simple thing or at the end it would it would create one single file so i'm doing a bow in it let's just go with the defaults everywhere i'm not going to change anything let's just say the defaults and yes and we would see that in the bower first tutorial once uh, the refresh is done you'd see that there is a bower.json created so if i open bower.json you can see that there are uh, oops i can go to the presentation mode yeah you can see that uh, this bower.json shows all the different things uh, what we one of the things which we talked which we did was we ignored all the things like when we do dependency management using bower it creates a folder called bower components we don't want it to be going to the version control so we put it in the ignore list and same as with uh, node modules we don't want that to be also going to version control uh, also you can see that the dependencies that we created are directly added in so now this file is called bower.json you can look at it up here bower.json and this contains all the dependencies that we use so angular and uh, the version of it uh, we'll look at it a little later what this tilde means there is a tilde and a caret so this tilde means i want to use any version uh, which is 1.3 so this last digit can change so if there is a new version use it but it should definitely be something like 1.3.x so that's what tilt tilt represents we'll discuss that in later discuss later that discuss that later in detail and now if i actually go ahead and uh, oops let's exit the presentation mode and Let's say a new uh, like uh, from now on, I don't really need the Bower components uh, folder. So I can actually now go ahead and delete this folder. I'm going ahead and deleting the folder. And now, if I really want to install it again, so if I want to install these components again, I can use. Oops. I can directly use uh, the command Bower install what bower install does is it goes and looks at the bower.json file and it uh, uses the dependencies which are declared in here and downloads all of them so if i do that now bower install you would see that it i've deleted all the dependencies but it goes the, out and fetches them now so you can see that it has fetched angular jquery backbone backbone has a dependency on underscore so it has fetched underscore framework as uh, also so this is the beauty about Bower, and this is uh, the beauty about package management. Uh, from now on, all that I need to do is uh, put Bower.json into version control, and every one of my team members would have Bower.json, and they would be use, able to use it to uh, get all the repo all the things that they would want from the repository. So let's look at now a few more uh, useful commands. Let's say I want to add another dependency to this project. I want to use Bootstrap. So let's try that. So bower install Bootstrap. That's the command to uh, install Bootstrap. So I'm installing Bootstrap now. You'd see that if I go to bower components, there is a folder called Bootstrap. But the problem is it's not added in the bower.json. So if it's not added in bower.json then my project uh, uh, like when uh, people who depend on the version control the other teammates will not get uh, a bootstrap uh, when they do a bower install so how do i add a uh, bootstrap to this directly so i want to now add bootstrap here so that everybody who uh, uses bootstrap in my project also gets it so the safe way of doing that is whenever we install a framework we install a dependency use something called hyphen hyphen save so if i do a hyphen hyphen save it would actually bower would get the thing as well as if we 
be patient a little while you'd see that the file has auto loaded and you'd see that bootstrap is in there right now so bootstrap framework is added to the list so if we use this hyphen hyphen save which is dash dash save hyphen hyphen save whichever you'd want to call it it you can uh, directly uh, do things like like uh, you can directly add it to the bower.json so this I mean this is beautiful actually I mean I really like the way uh, the bower makes uh, the dependency management so easy so if I want to add a new framework all that I need to do is install that and put a hyphen hyphen save and commit the bower.json into repository and everybody in the team has uh, access to what are the new dependencies as well and uh, in next we would look at another uh, useful command in uh, bower which is bower list that we already looked at so bower list lists all the dependencies which are there uh, in there so it checks the dependencies so it shows angular backbone backbone has a dependency on underscore and uh, bootstrap bootstrap has a dependency on jquery and we already had jquery in our uh, dependencies list uh, if you add a path command so bower list hyphen hyphen path it actually shows uh, the exact directories exact path to that particular thing so now I can go to my HTML I mean in my HTML page I can refer to this particular angular.js as bower component slash angular slash angular.js so this is how I can rep refer to the it in the script so I can create a HTML file let's just say I want to create my first HTML in here so I'd create a new HTML I would call it probably index.html first one so in this let's say I want to add a script I want to include the jQuery file let's say script source is equal to and I want to include my jQuery all that I need to do is go ahead and see where the jQuery file is so it's right here I would need to copy that paste it in here and I'm all set so J I have jQuery so I don't really need to go download it put it in a folder make it available and uh, now also jQuery is not really part of my version control so any new version of jQuery that is present I would really get it automatically so that's the next feature that we would create uh, discuss about in that's uh, in the dependency management we can specify something the dependencies in such a way that uh, I can say I want any version greater than or equal to so if I say this then uh, what Bower does is it gets any version which is greater than 1.11.2 so the other uh, things you can al also say is it should always be less than or equal to 1.11.2 or uh, things like uh, tilde when, uh, when we use a tilde it means uh, the last dot the uh, digit to the right of the last dot so in this 1.1.2 uh, the digit to the rightmost digit is 2 uh, when I use tilde uh, what it means is this rightmost digit can be X so it would ret return the latest a version which is matched by 1.1.x so if I uh, the other uh, thing is uh, the carrot symbol which is the this symbol so this symbol means uh, only the first digit is important so any 1.x version is fine so uh, it, like the way we use versions is this is major version this is minor version and this is probably a bug fix so when I use a uh, when I use a caret, then it means I want uh, anything which is in this particular major version. So uh, I don't want two dot something. I can live with anything with one dot something. So w what happens? Like let's try something on jQuery. So I'll undo the changes. Oops, I'll leave them as it is. Just for jQuery, I would actually make it greater than equal to. 1.11.12 and let's try running the bower install again so 
you'd see that now because I put greater than equal to here like I put greater than equal to 1.11.2 the latest version of jQuery available is 2.1.3 and so uh, like uh, Bova goes and gets the latest version which is 2.1.3 because this meets this criteria so what Bova does is it gets the dependency uh, version which meets the latest dependency version which meets these conditions so that's basically uh, so uh, what happens is uh, whenever there's a new version of jQuery you get it automatically if you don't really want to get all the new versions of jQuery you can directly put 1.11.2 and then you are uh, stuck I mean you are using only that particular version so these are uh, a few of the important features which uh, the uh, dependency manager Bower offers so we looked at uh, how we can install Bower and we looked at how we can install dependencies how you can manage versions of dependencies and how uh, dip, uh, like uh, and what are the different important commands which are present as part of Bower um, I hope this is useful until next time bye